district has been struggling to keep classrooms cool. The News 4i team has reported on air conditioning failures and thousands of incomplete work orders. Now Jay Avila has uncovered records showing the alarming amount of money the district is spending to rent huge portable chillers. Records we obtained from SAISD show the chillers here at Highlands High School cost more than $38,000 a month to rent. Some parents are questioning whether this is the most efficient way to handle the district's air conditioning troubles. Records show SAISD has been renting portable chillers at 20 of its campuses, some of them since February. The startling price tag, more than $1.9 million in rental fees so far this year. I think it's just, you know, a temporary fix. It's just like placing a Band-Aid over something. Miranda Tirina says she had to pick up her two children from Highlands High last May because classrooms were too hot. While she's glad the chillers are keeping things cool, she's shocked by the cost. I think that monthly cost should go to replacing you know, the chillers. Records show the district spent almost $200,000 already this year to rent the chillers at Highlands High. The next highest rental bill was for Lanier High School, followed by Edison High. We requested an on-camera interview with someone from SAISD, but the district sent us a statement. Having a permanent chiller for a facility is the ideal, but there are times when a gap exists as a result of a chiller needing repair or replacement. In all cases, we lease chillers only for as long as we need them, whether to cover a gap in a long-term bond project or for an immediate maintenance need. The district says 2020 bond money will pay for new chillers at Highlands, Lanier, and Edison High, which have the most expensive rental bills. They were ordered more than a year ago. But some of the rentals are coming out of the district's facilities budget. Some parents wonder what other needs that rental money could have been spent on. It makes me sad, you know, because my kids deserve a better education. They deserve to be in a school where they're comfortable and that they're safe. For the News 4 I-Team, I'm Jay Avalon.